Amoebozoans by Emily Montgomery. Amoebas have no definite shape and can often be referred to as a simple blob. They have a cytoskeleton of microtubules and microfilaments, which help in the process of movement, which I'll talk about in a minute. Because of their small size, they have <coughs> few organelles. They have an endoplasm and an ectoplasm, which you can see in the picture, um, a nucleus, a food vacuole, a contractile vacuole, and a cell membrane. The pseudopodia, meaning false feet, are what help them in movement and in feeding. They feed by phagocytosis strictly. Um, the pseudopodia extend and engulf the food and bring it in to the food vacuole where they are broken down by the use of enzymes called lysozymes. In the process of movement, the contraction of myosin filaments push the fluid uh, of the amoeba into the pseudopodia where they extend until the weak actin filaments reassemble into a network and pull the whole blob just a step closer. That can be referred to as a crawling mechanism. Amoebas reproduce asexually uh, by a process called fission, not to be confused with binary fission of bacteria. Um, the cell and the nucleus simply spit, split into two different cells, and if they are forcibly divided by, say, an environmental cause, it's possible that the nucleus remains in only one of the two new portions, resulting in the life of one cell and the death of the other. The majority of amoeba are free living, meaning they don't need a host cell, and live in freshwater or marine environments and are very abundant in soil. The reason being that the contractile vacuole in the amoeba allows for them to live in a moist or a wet environment. Um, they can also be parasitic and infect humans and live in the host cells of a human. Entamoeba histolytica is an anaerobic parasitic protozoan. That means that it does not need oxygen to survive and it is a parasite like the ones that I was just talking about. Um, in its active stage, you can tell that someone is infected by the Entamoeba histolytica when the cells have four nuclei. You can see the picture at the top. Um, this one is not quite in its mature form. It only has two nuclei. Um, it is, like most of the parasitic amoebas, transmitted through contaminated food and water. This specific one can cause kidney or intestinal infection, known as amoebic dysentery, and can also ca cause abscesses of the liver. This specific amoeba increases the virulence of other human viruses, such as HIV or AIDS. This means that it stimulates the reproduction of those viral cells. Amoeba proteus, or the giant amoeba, is one of the most common and most harmless of the amoebas. It is one of the largest and can almost be seen with the naked eye. Entamoeba coli, which can also be written as E. coli, not to be confused with the bacteria, is another parasitic protozoan. This one can be distinguished from the first example, histolytica, by the fact that it has eight nuclei in its mature form instead of just four. This one is unique because it is actually not harmless on its own, but only infectious in the presence of another viral infection. It causes GI infections as well.